I mean, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang is on stage right now delivering the keynote address at the company's developer conference in San Jose. And joining us now live from the event is more insight and strategy CEO Patrick Moorhead. Pat, uh, one of the, the big things they've hit on, Jensen has hit on so far, is NVIDIA AI foundations making more of this platform argument for NVIDIA. What do you think of that? So it's a very smart strategy if you look at the future because it's not always a guarantee that NVIDIA will have this, the best hardware, but if NVIDIA has the best platform, like an Apple, for example, then it can compete on a very different plane. And then if somebody like an AMD or an Intel or somebody comes along with a superior piece of hardware, if they built an entire platform with stacks and stacks of software, then they can still have a competitive advantage. So uh, describe a little bit what this is, because he also called out Adobe, Getty Images, Shutterstock, those types of companies working with NVIDIA tools in this space. So is there a similarity, a parallel you could draw to what other tech companies have done uh, with platforms in the past? Yeah, I think there is. And part of NVIDIA's platform play is to work with uh, Getty and, and Adobe uh, to offer their own models. Uh, NVIDIA not only supports models like OpenAI and Gemini, but also their own models. And in the end, I think what they would like most of all is to be a one-stop shop with hardware, drivers, uh, additional software, foundational models, and also ML frameworks. That is the big win for the company. How much does supply matter to the conversation and to, to the commentary that we get from Huang and, and from this uh, conference here right now? I mean, we know the demand has been outpacing it dramatically. Is that going to matter or move the market yeah. here as well? I think it is going to matter. And I think what NVIDIA's customers out there for their platform and for their parts is we can't be reliant on a single provider. So it will be a push and pull between NVIDIA teeing up something that you have to buy versus can you actually get it from them. Overall, uh, their customers would like to see a more diversified supply chain with, let's say, three to four players out there in the marketplace. And that will play a factor down the line, and it is right now. Okay. If we shift gears, but we stay within the AI bucket, I guess. Uh, the fact that you had a report that Alphabet is in talks to license its Gemini AI tech to Apple for use in the iPhone, sent shares of both of those companies higher, really propelled the broader market higher today. What to make of this? Yeah, so I think there's two aspects to this. One, one I'm pretty sure on and the other uh, a little bit less. One is that very similar to how Google uh, bought the rights to the Apple iPhone to be the core search default, I could see Google being, uh, Google paying Apple for them to be the default cloud AI. Now, the other element of this deal could be that some of the nano models operate on uh, the iPhone, but that has to be short term because quite frankly, if, if Apple doesn't get in the game and have their own on-device optimized models, they're in really big trouble. Mm. I want to call out uh, that uh, Jensen's been talking about robotics and, and how everything that he's showing on stage is not an animation but a simulation. He mentioned a partnership with Ansys and that stock just popped in <laughs> overtime. It's up about three and a half percent right now. So we talked about that NVIDIA per, right. uh, you know, effect, three percent now. Um, to, to what degree is this manufacturing simulation digital twinning an important part of what happens with, with AI uh, in the real world? Yeah, digital simulation is becoming more important into the future. And if you think about it, uh, ecosystems like AWS and ecosystems like Tesla, they design all the way from the chiplet, uh, all the way to the chip, to the server, to the rack, all the way to either the car as it relates to Tesla or AWS and their entire data center. And with gains becoming harder and harder, you have to have simulation to develop a complete end-to-end -end design from the chip to the car or the data center. And Synopsys seems like they've made a pretty good uh, acquisition here with Ansys. Uh, yeah, and, and I got to mention Cadence as well. Uh, that also got a call out from on exactly. stage. It is up uh, 3%. So the software 
design tools around some of this technology um, getting a big getting it, a big mention. Which is really fascinating because yeah, and mm -hmm. I was going to say no. I, I was oh. going to say that. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say another important uh, part is that all of that software actually runs on a workstation that can be accelerated by NVIDIA, can also be run uh, in, in the data center. Both uh, Cadence, in fact, uh, released a brand new supercomputer that used GPUs to accelerate all of this visualization.